So this is an Apple II Plus computer, released in 1979. I have it playing one of my childhood favorites, Moon Patrol. I remember playing this game all the time during recess in fifth grade. Thanks, Mrs. Harrison. Now it's a great looking machine if I do say so myself, and I do. But it was also pretty expensive, and so were the peripherals and cards you could purchase for it. So much, in fact, people would install locks on the sliding lid to protect it from thieves and Commodore users who wish to do it harm. Get your own floppy disk drive card, punk! Now the Apple II Plus may have very well been the last Apple II computer released if it wasn't for one software title that changed everything and made the Apple II the ubiquitous computer that it was. That software was VisiCalc. Yes, VisiCalc, the first successful spreadsheet program ever. This is version 1.37, which is the first official version, although there was actually an earlier version 1.35, but only like five copies were shipped out. Now, in the late 70s, personal computers were still in their infancy, and only a handful were available to average consumers like the Kim 1, Commodore Pet, and the Apple II. These computers were really only used by scientists and amateur computer hobbyists to control electronic equipment and play some primitive games. There really wasn't any incentive for your average business person to buy one. Financial software was limited, and for the most part, if you wanted to have components of an electronic spreadsheet, you'd have to write your own program. Computers like the IBM 5100 were used for financial forecasting and such, but they were pricey and difficult to operate for the average user. What was missing in the marketplace was software that businesses had a need for and that they could easily afford and operate. Software that would be so useful that people would buy a computer just to run it. That software would be VisiCalc, short for Visual Calculator, and it was the first ever killer app. It was created by MIT grads Dan Bricklin and Bob Frankston. Dan started the design in 1978, and Bob refined it and programmed it on the Apple II. Now, why on an Apple II? Well, remember, this was 1978. Other early computers like the Atari 400, VIC-20, and IBM PC didn't even exist yet. About a year later, around October 1979, the first copies of VisiCalc shipped out. So here it is, the granddaddy of electronic spreadsheets. Now, obviously, spreadsheet programs like Excel have way more functions and capabilities than this, but what I find interesting is the basic structure hasn't really changed at all. You have the familiar columns and rows, and you can simply start typing in your column headers as you would naturally in Excel. Since the Apple II and II Plus have no up and down arrows, you have to toggle your direction by using the spacebar. Now a command list is brought up if you use the forward slash key, so if I wanted to put repeating dashes under my headers, I would use the repeat command and then I would just type in the hyphen or whatever character I want repeated. Alright, so let me make up some expenses that I have to pay. Gas and electric, Time Warner cable. Alright, as exciting as all that was, I thought I'd spare you and just skip ahead a little bit. So now that I have all my expenses listed out, here's where the magic happens. So I'm going to use the sum function to add up all my expenses. Wow! But wait, there's more! When I change one of the values, it's going to recalculate my total. Check it out. Ooh. Okay, but seriously, can you imagine a time when this wasn't yet possible? Where if you made a mistake or you just want to play with a different set of numbers, you'd need to recalculate the whole thing. No thanks. Of course, there's other functions available as well. Like if I wanted to add an income into the equation, I could just specify what I want to calculate using parentheses and voila. I can also move or delete columns. I can resize a column width. And I can change and format a single number or all numbers from an integer to, let's say, dollars and cents. It's hard not to acknowledge the importance VisiCalc had. It drove the Apple II's popularity through the roof and established it as a successful company. Who knows, without it, maybe Apple would have folded and the Mac would have never been invented. VisiCalc really paved the way for what we now take for granted. So, Dan, Bob, thank you both for inventing the electronic spreadsheet.